longest time BYB Extreme fans. Great to have you with us here for a tremendous night of fights. Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Fame fighting commentator Al Bernstein and Dada 5000 founder of BYB Extreme. Al, this is going to be immediate confrontation tonight. It really is. You know, I've done a lot of different kind of combat sports over the years, but this one is unique because the nature of the, the ring they fight in dictates the action. The Trigon is a small space, uniquely conformed, and when you add that to the fighting spirit of the fighters and their natural aggressiveness, you end up getting a lot of action, and that's what fans are going to see. We can't wait to see that. Dada 5000, this is your event. This is your product. Tell us about the history. How did this all get started? Wow, down inside the mean streets of Miami-Dade County, the 305, you know, and we revolutionized the way that the world look at extreme reality. And when you look at the mighty Trigon, it's designed to promote confrontation, finish fights, never leave it inside the hand of the judges. We are scheduled, Al, as we check the rules for five three-minute rounds, but I doubt it's going to go that far, right? Yeah, not always, no. Um, and some of these rules are, are unique. Some will look a little bit like boxing. Obviously, four-ounce gloves required, but your knuckles will be exposed, hence bare knuckles boxing. Uh, no three-knockdown rule is in effect, and a 10-point scoring system much like boxing. The winner gets 10 points, the loser nine or less. Now, punching in the clinch allowed, what that means is that much more latitude is given to the the fighters then in a boxing match you can pull your opponent's head in to help you punch there are things that are allowed in that clinch that you will not see in a boxing match and the referee and the doctor can stop the match thanks al byb extreme is brought to you in part by epic disposable vape made from tobacco free nicotine by Estrella insurance car insurance lowest prices guaranteed by Boost Oxygen, professional-grade supplemental oxygen without a prescription. And by Diesel Physique, scientifically proven to add muscle mass. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. Experience good, clean, fun. Meet the clean team. Cleaning and sanitizing all common areas and high touch surfaces every 30 minutes. Contactless digital menus available at all our restaurants. Screening and temperature checks taken upon entry. Hand sanitizing stations throughout the property. Masks or cloth face coverings required. Physical distancing. Your safety and protection are first priority, which begins prior to your arrival. You'll arrive to a sealed room, exactingly prepared to ensure your safety and protection for your peace of mind. So you can relax and enjoy yourself. More space between slot machines, gaming chips sanitized, as well as all slots, tables, and chairs. We are dedicated to keeping you safe and sound. We used to travel and go places. Not anymore. She's always complaining. Now he just watches TV. I want to go out. I just want a slightly bigger TV, and she says it's too expensive. Oh, he acts like a know-it-all, but he doesn't even know how much we could be saving with Estrella Insurance and their little prices. Their prices are little, huh? Just like you. Nope, little like you. We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. Ready for our first fight, Al? Let's check the tail of the tape. Yeah, uh, one of the things in this fight between Lorenzo Hunt and Robert John uh, Brown Jr. that could be I impactful is the weight difference. Hunt coming in uh, at 203, at Brown at 192. It could have uh, an impact in terms of Hunt being the stronger of the two. To the Trigon now, our ring announcer. Here's Bob Alexander. Now, ready to make his way to the cage from the blue corner, Lorenzo, the juggernaut Hunt. Lorenzo Hunt is ready here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. A tough customer, Dada 5000, you know him very well. 
Definitely. You know, this guy's a true competitor. He stated, Dada, I'm going to shock the world on this one. Now you've watched him. You and now, ready to make his way to the Trigon from the red corner, Robert Real Business Brown Jr. Real Business is here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and ready to fight. A chef by trade. He's used to cooking things up, and uh, he's hoping to uh, create uh, something and make a souffle of his opponent. Exactly. He stated the other day that he's going to preset the oven to 350. <laughs> you know, he's serving up a main dish. Is that a slow bake, or is that a... You know, he wanted it to be just right. It was a lot of tension. I'm really eager to see this fight take off, especially from the weigh-ins yesterday. And he is on a stage that he has never seen before because his only match has been a backyard uh, fight. And here he is in a setting that is different and one in which he's going to have to keep his composure uh, and perform to the level of where he's at. Exactly. That will definitely be something to watch. He showcased his culinary skills across the United States. That's his full-time job. That's his passion. But at the Trigon, his business is fighting. And he is ready to brawl here tonight. You any questions? How do they look, Dada, to you in terms of intensity, in terms of their preparation? Well, you know, both of these guys, they've trained really hard for the build up to this fight. You know, both of them, Ladies they have a title on their the waist. Cheyenne Ice and Event Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Our next bout is brought to you by BYB Extreme Fighting Series and GetPureNatural.com. This bout scheduled for five three-minute rounds of bare-knuckle brawling in the cruiserweight division. The three judges scoring at cage side, Janelle Mellish, Josh Johnson, and Tom Milstead. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white and red trim, he weighed in at 203.4 pounds. An eight-fight MMA veteran, originally from Cleveland, Ohio, now fighting out of Jacksonville, Florida. Here is Lorenzo, the juggernaut huh? His opponent fighting out of the red corner wearing black trunks with red and green trim. He weighed in at 192.2 pounds. He is 1-0 in bare knuckle brawls from the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia. Here is Robert, real business, Brown Jr. Referee David Baslow with the instructions. Fighters come center. All right, gentlemen, you're given the rules in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck. Ready to fight. Tom, you good? In the Tom? revolutionary Trigon here tonight in Cheyenne, Wyoming. They call it the magic city of the plains. And we're going to see some magic in the Trigon <laughs> here out. We will. And as you can see, this fighting environment does not leave you much room to move. So we'll see how these men navigate it. Um, in this bout. Exactly. Boxing is. Right, guys, feet on the line. There you go. You ready? You ready? Let's this go, is a gentleman's Fight. sport, but this is not a gentleman's ring. <laughs> good way to describe good. that, Todd, on 5,000. And here we go, underway, scheduled for five rounds, three minutes apiece, but it never goes that long. And the juggernaut's got that open hand style out. Exactly. Yeah, he does. And he's a pretty good defensive uh, fighter. You know, he's very good at slipping punches. A little bravado from him. And you'll see that, I think, as this fight goes on. It can cost him, but he's definitely one that's going to bring the pain. I'll be interested to see if he keeps that style up. First clinch. And a backup there from the juggernaut. 
both of these men on a stage you said they haven't seen, and they're taking their time to figure this out, which is really smart on both their parts. They both have pretty good corners that pretty much, you know, prep them for this. Yeah, Will, uh, Willie Kennedy in the corner of Brown. Juggernaut unleashes. He has real business. Brown Jr. in the corner. It can be known as the death corner in the Trigon. You don't want to get backed in there, Dada. You definitely don't. These guys are throwing TNT, and someone's going to get caught eventually. Also, some body work by Hunt. He's a, a very good body puncher, and his trainer, Daryl Hatchett, really emphasizes that with him. Hunt says he trains every day of his life. So he's coming in, and there's no pressure on him whatsoever. He looks like he's in great shape. He's saying that did not hurt me. I'm good. <laughs> he wants to help us with the commentary as the fight goes on. <laughs> Brown hasn't done much yet. Looking on low with that right hand. Clearly, you see that Lorenzo is the most physical and the most stronger of the two. He's waiting, like we said. Brown would like to counterpunch him, uh, get him to make a mistake, and be able to counter him with the left hook or the right hand. I like you're right. He's calculating right now. He's waiting. Whoa. Cut. Trying with that right uppercut, just about connected to the jaw. Brown came close. Hunt also very quick handed. That's part of the, I think, the his game and he does have a height and reach advantage a little bit slight the reach advantage for sure and he's trying to use that those open hounds are down a little bit now i noticed that yeah. stop with the bell guys last few seconds of the round brown tries the combination Oh, the wow. And a stumble at the very end of the first round. Was that a punch? And yeah, Hunt headbutt. on his knees for no, 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 a no, moment. No, no, no. He looks Let's a little wobbly. Out. He does look wobbly heading back to his corner Doc, in the final they hit, they seconds of the first the round. round. I think you got hurt. The question is whether that came from a clash of heads or from a punch. And we'll take a look back on it, and we'll get a, a chance to, to take a look. And Whoa. yes, they banged heads, and I mean they really banged heads. That was an yes. unintentional clash of heads, but that hurt Hunt and sent him down. He definitely got the bad deal of that exchange. Wow. Well, that's that's as stark a uh, clash of heads as you will ever see in any yeah. combat right, sport. Incidental. Accidental let's go, let's go. Yeah. at the very on, guys, end out. of the get first out. round, but the headbutt does shake Lorenzo, the juggernaut Hunt, just a bit. Stay, stay right here. Guys, take How will Hunt in. react now heading into this next round from that? That was a, right a, on the line. a, a impactful event right. for sure. Round two. Why? I definitely think Ready? that puts Fight. him inside of a position of emergency to get it over with. Anderson, round two. Calculating, stalking, Hunt on the attack. Stop, stop, back up, back Hunt with uh, MMA experience, eight MMA fights, that kind of puts him a little bit above Brown in the sense that he's at least had uh, an experience in front of a crowd and in a little bit more in this setting. So uh, experience-wise, he has a little bit of an edge. Exactly, especially when you look at the dirty boxing. And you, you can't teach that overnight. Look at that defense. Brown unloading. And Hunt defending, Dada, you're right. Every single blow, Hunt is there. Now on the attack, go. going for the uppercut. He's had enough. To the chin, Brown is pressed into the Trigon cage. And hurting, unloading the juggernaut. Time and time again. And we saw a moment or two ago, for those of you watching this, that Hunt could pull his head in and hit him. That's something different in uh, this discipline that you wouldn't see in boxing. Exactly. Go. Needs a new mouthpiece. Stay in your Makes a world of difference. Stay in your you okay? You guys ready? 
in that flurry. Mouth guard got knocked out. Ready to resume here in Cheyenne. Hunt definitely smells blood on this one. But it seems like he's such a calm stalker. He is not getting out of control. He is not getting beyond yeah, the game it's, plan. It's a really interesting point, Dave. And, 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 and I think that's behooved him well in this fight because he's got the time to try and go after Brown. Whoa, whoa, big left. Brown shaking a bit, wobbly toward the cage. Whoa. Hunt on the attack again. That left hook of Hunt is an excellent weapon. Couple left jabs, just off the mark. From Brown's standpoint, he's got to make something happen. Definitely do. Seems like those body shots are affecting him now. Brown is bloodied. Looks like it's coming from the nose. Looks a little shaky. Hunt does not. <laughs> Anything but. No, very composed in the ring, and, and you get the feeling he feels like he can get whatever he wants done at any time, taking his time and doing it. Neither man has used the jab much in this fight. They've been effective when they have used it. Good right to the body from Brown. Well, I don't think Hunt's hurt in the least. Seems like Hunt feels that his opponent is prime picking at this moment. Final 10 seconds of the round. Brown in on the attack. Hunt didn't stay on that cage long, did he? On the offensive, there's the horn, there's the round. Good job, guys. Good fight so far. Definitely. These guys both, they came, and they want to definitely get this one over with. Make sure they tuck those in, there's laces in the back. We are at elevation here, Al, 6,063 feet. Yeah, that can have an impact. And absolutely, another impact is that cut on the left head, part of the head of Brown, which may have, whether it came from a, a punch or another clash of heads, we don't know. Dada, beyond the incidental headbutt at the end of the first round, doesn't look like Hunt's been hurt much here. No, he's definitely, he looks like he's ready to go, like he can uh, go a few more rounds, even though we only have five. Some highlights from what we've seen so far. How, how, how do you have this scored? Well, that's the defense. And Brown did the smart thing by trying to go to the body. And there's where that work in the clinch by Hunt was so effective as he pulled the head of Brown in and used uppercuts and body shots. In terms of being a technician, Hunt is a very good ring technician. And he has done tremendous body work during the course of this fight. Feet on the line. That MMA experience definitely is showing. Yeah, it helped him, and Brown did try and come back toward the end of the round, and there's the body work by Brown. Brown has done some good body work. Third round underway from Cheyenne. I'm surprised he's gone this long. That's a yeah. shock in the Trigon, Donna. Yes, it is, you know. Um, some of these guys, you know, they're just that good that they can evade those corners. And really, both men have shown good defense. Hunt probably more so. Brown oh. right off the floor, and there's the wow. left, and down goes Brown. Three, that was a four, shot. Five, what a punch six, from the juggernaut. Seven, exactly, that eight. thing came from George. And, and the real landed. business right. is in real continue. trouble. Yep. Right, but continues. He you got know, back up, that shows a lot about him. He can smell blood in the water now. Another Boy. right hand on the side of the head. Oh. Brown, he goes down a second time. This one has to be over, ladies and gentlemen. And the referee has to push back the juggernaut as he looked down at his prey. What a punch. What a round for Lorenzo, the juggernaut. Hunt to end this one in Cheyenne. He said he was going to come on board, and if you didn't know who he was, you were going to know who he was after the fight. And I think he just made that a statement. And still calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> Even after a victory, in the third round, what a punch from Lorenzo the Juggernaut Hunt. More coming up from Cheyenne, Wyoming, after this.
What's going on everybody? Daniel Sullivan here with My Diesel Physique and I'm super excited to announce that we have a new program that's going to complement the My Diesel Physique Challenge and it's all about building size and muscle. These methods are tried and true. I currently use these on my NFL football players, MLB baseball players, professional bodybuilders, and UFC fighters. These principles work for them. It's going to work for you. If you're an everyday gym goer and you're trying to build size, strength, and mass, and you're just not seeing the results that you want, I have put together a program that scientifically proves how to build that mass, size, and strength with the workouts, with the nutrition. Let me coach you to get you to that next level. Let's build some muscle. We used to travel and go places, not anymore. She's always complaining. Now he just watches TV. I want to go out. I just want a slightly bigger TV. She says it's too expensive. He acts like a know-it-all, but he doesn't even know how much we could be saving with Estrella Insurance and their little prices. Their prices are little, huh? Just like you? Nope, little like you. We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. Great opening fight from Cheyenne, Wyoming here tonight. Lorenzo the Juggernaut Hunt from Jacksonville, Florida in the third round takes care of Robert Real Business Brown Jr. Superb performance by him and one in which he, he, he showed us uh, how much that MMA experience, eight MMA fights really helped him, I think, in this match. Showed a lot of patience. Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both brawlers, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, your referee in charge, David Braslow, calls a halt to the bout at 54 seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO, Lorenzo the Juggernaut Now, for the first time, we see some emotion from yeah. the juggernaut after yeah. the decision, and he's declared the victor here tonight, been, Cheyenne. He's been very stoic up to this point, but this was how he got the job done. Now, that was a clash of heads at the end of round one that we couldn't even tell if it was a clash of heads, but it, that hurt Hunt, but he was able to come back and use those great defensive skills, then turned it into offense, getting inside on that clinch, holding the head of Brown and ripping uppercuts and some good body work as well. Uh, and really, this set the tempo, I think, for the rest of this match. And at that point, Brown was very wary of this kind of power from uh, Hunt. And he was kind of on his back foot for most of the rest of this fight. And Hunt landing big power punches. That was an uppercut that created the second knockdown and ended up winning this fight for Hunt. Let's go to Dada in the Trigon with a winner. Wow, listen, what an awesome performance. You stalked him like he was prey and you took him out. I mean, what is the recipe? for that performance? I was just, I had to just stay calm. I mean, I know everybody here can fight. Uh, I just wanted to stay calm. He hurt me a couple of times. He was really, really intense, but I just, just stalked him, stalked him, let the pressure build up, wait for my shot. Listen, Robert Brown, he's a very tough guy. You guys give it up for Robert Brown one more time. Listen. Robert Brown was a very tough guy. A lot of individuals would have went out in the first round with the, with the sparks and the bursts that you guys was giving each other. I mean, listen, 
this right here is the very principles that the backyard was built upon. Hey, once again, let's make a big, big welcome for Lorenzo, the juggernaut, Hunt! All right, now twice we saw emotion from the juggernaut with a decision at the very end of the interview there with Dada 5000. Beyond that, cold, calm, calculating strategy. Everything went according to plan in that victory. Yeah, you know, while we point out that in the Trigon, action is the operative word, you can get there in different ways. Some people are very aggressive, and we see that oftentimes in there, and other people kind of let the fight come to them a little bit more. That's what this 33-year-old did. First fight complete from Cheyenne, Wyoming, and more coming up for all for it all. It's BYB Extreme Fighting, more on the way. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Health is here. I was ready to get into a sweet pickup truck. But I said, no, my love. Remember we talked about saving money? A truck wastes too much gas. Always with the saving money thing. If we find an insurance with huge savings, then maybe. I said, does that even exist? So I told them, Estrella Insurance, they have the biggest savings. I like them big. We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. Now time for female bantamweights and the tale of the tape. Yeah, featuring Christine Stanley and Latoya Burton. Stanley, a veteran at 38, kind of a pioneer in women's bare knuckle boxing. And she's facing a young woman, a 30 year old uh, Latoya Burton, who is an amateur boxer. To the ring now, here's Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, now ready to make her way to the Trigon from the blue corner, LaToya Lionheart Burton. For starters, we thank LaToya Lionheart Burton for her service. U.S. Air Force veteran, two tours of duty in Iraq. Da -da. That is someone who's seriously tough. Definitely, you know. She says she's been through a lot, she's seen a lot, so this should be a walk in the park, and she's looking to make a statement and make her name known in Bare Knuckle against Knuckle Stanley. Now you've been around fighting for years and years. Military background, what advantage does that create for a fighter? Well, the discipline, obviously, is part of that, and she, her, she has experience uh, in boxing as an amateur boxer, and with Daryl Hatchett as her trainer, who is, of course, um, a kind of a fixture in uh, bare knuckles boxing. He's been involved with a lot of fighters. He's trying to transition her into this. Latoya Lionheart told me last night that she's never quit. She's never given up on anything in her life. She loves the challenge, and we're going to see she's getting what she wants tonight in bare knuckle. First out. Wow. We appreciate her service protecting our nation's freedom first and foremost. And now into the Trigon and a diminutive dynamo out, 5'2", 145. And we saw tail tape a moment ago. The height advantage for Knuckles could be a big advantage. Yes. She'll be giving up some height for sure. Let's go back to the ring. And now, ready to make her way to the Trigon from the red corner, Christine Knuckles Stanley. She's from Lake Bay, Washington, not far from Seattle, a beautiful part of the country. And she'd like to do quick work of the military U.S. Air Force veteran, Lionheart Burton, tonight. You know Knuckles Stanley well, Dada 5000. What does she bring to the Trigon here tonight? She brings explosivity. She brings wisdom. You know, she brings experience. And that will be a tall mountain for LaToya Lionheart to climb. 
a lot of MMA experience, uh, nine fights for uh, Christine Knuckles Stanley. And we alluded to the fact that she's, hit, she's been involved in, um, how should we put it, not sanctioned bare knuckle uh, fights, uh, you know, along the way and, and kind of a pioneer of this for women. Exactly. You know, she's coming out, she says, Dada, I've been doing this for years, and now I get a chance to actually get the credit for stuff that we did for fun growing up. Full-time job in the Seattle area as a painter. But the work at hand now is taking care of Latoya Lionheart Burton in the Trigon. Let's go back to the Trigon now. And Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Event Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, our next bout of the evening is brought to you by BYB Extreme Fighting Series and GetPureAndNatural.com. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds of bare-knuckle brawling in the bantamweight division. The three judges scoring a cage side, Janelle Mellish, Josh Johnson, and Tom Milstead. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim. She weighed in at 142.2 pounds. A United States Air Force veteran and veteran of three pro boxing bouts. She hails from Asheville, North Carolina. Here is LaToya Lionheart Burton. Her opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks. She weighed in at 145.8 pounds. As a professional MMA fighter, five wins, three losses, one draw. From Lake Bay, Washington, here is Christine Knuckles Stanley. Referee Bobby Wambacher with the instructions. Latoya, Christine. All right, ladies, we've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. The instructions from Bobby Wambacher, and we are ready to fight in Wyoming's largest city. Only 65,000 live in Cheyenne, a good crowd here tonight. This is gonna be a good fight. And you can see the intensity with both fighters in that Trigon. And a good look there, Al, at how small yeah. to the line. that Trigon to the line. really is. It is stark Tony, when you, you think ready? of boxing Christine, rings you and uh, the configuration of it, the fact that it's a triangle, it's, it's fascinating. And it creates this, where you, you get fighters like uh, Burton coming forward and making the action. Wow, out of the gate, Burton on the attack. And Stanley was back to the cage there, Dada, for a moment, but using your weight advantage to get out of trouble. Exactly, and you know, you see how both of these individuals, they came out like someone fired them out of a cannon at each other. Burton would like to get on in the inside where she's oh, gonna be, oh, oh, and she ran into a hook. Okay. That's the poise, the, that the experience of Christine Four, Knuckles Stanley. Five. Is getting Six, there. seven. Lionheart eight. laid you out good? early in the first round. All right. But she's okay. Go. We fight on. Stop. Two for two in terms Whoa. of being back into the cage. Good defensive moves there from Stanley, there. who goes on the offensive immediately two, and hurts Burton three. again. They're that calling that a knockdown. Yeah, because Six, the cage kept seven. her up. She would have gone down and had that good? cage not been there. Right. She is bloodied, she is battered, and definitely hurting here in the first round. Precision punching by uh, Stanley, and she's working both the body and the head. She's an excellent body puncher. Exactly, and she's using everything that she has. The clinch, et cetera. And the weight advantage. Oh, I heard that one. Look out, Burton's in trouble again. A barrage from Stanley. And they go down briefly. In what has been a very eventful first round here in Cheyenne. 
forget the lengthy feel-out process. They're going right to it here. Burton is hurting. Bloody And there is the horn and the round at two minutes. Is complete. A lot happens there, mostly in the favor of Knuckles. Exactly. I want to, I would love to, to, to know what Lionheart's corner is telling her right now. It's interesting to see how she comes back out for the second round. What would you tell Lionheart? Well, she wants to get as close as she can, not smother her punches, but do what she did in the first part of that round where she was on the inside and wasn't countered by Stanley. But uh, once she ran into that first left hook as a counter punch, it changed the tenor of the fight. I'm interested to see if she's going to respect Knuckles' power. Yeah, well, here's where uh, the body work and the combination work by Stanley. This is after she'd already hurt Burton uh, on Check several occasions, and she was working her over uh, with those combinations. The uppercut, a great weapon, oh. and that's the one that put her down uh, for one of the knockdowns, the official knockdowns that was called in uh, round number one. Great first Come round on. for Christine Knuckles it's Stanley from Lake Bay, Washington. You ready? Let's roll! Let's see if the Air Force veteran can stay on her feet here in round two. Won't be easy. And that's the posture she wants on the inside, throwing those right hands, trying to be busy. Not easy. She's punching up because she is shorter by three inches. Trying to score to the body. Stanley, patient. Christine Stanley makes the, the uh, transition from offense to defense so well. It's quick, isn't it? Yeah, and, uh, and and that allows her, there it is. You see, she makes that transition. Now she's gonna come out of that, punch it. You know, it's almost like Knuckles has a game plan and Lionheart is playing right into it. Let's her engage and then she yeah. pushes back. Stanley's back in the corner, but it's Burton who's in trouble. And staggers again on one knee, hurting once again. Like and there's a lot of blood in the trigon. Gather yourself. Looks as if okay. someone turned on the faucet. Ooh. Gather yourself. Right back. Got her in the back of the head. I wasn't touching. It was moving. She, you stood. Yeah. Still the back of the head. Yeah, yeah she's bleeding. So wow, look at the blood. Okay. You ready? And the question of whether she got hit in the back of the head, but Stanley's saying she was moving when it happened, so I Stand couldn't up. help it. She just said she has to continue. That's that military that's coming from deep down within. Never give up, never quit, never surrender. And she is bloodied. But fights on. Tremendous courage. Burton still attacking after all that. Terrible swelling around her left eye. And uh, she had been got hit behind the head, but she's still in there. Which is so impressive to me, Al. Yeah, you just talk that, about guts. Yeah, amazing. And and it, you know, whether she's going to be able to last this round remains to be seen. I don't know. She's daggering again, in trouble again. Stanley unloads the body, the face. The targets are open because her hands are down. In a lot of trouble. Latoya Burton trying to stay on two feet. And Stanley mostly going to the body here, thinking that might end things. Stop. That's it, it's over, over, folks. This fight has been called. I think the professionalism of Knuckles really showed because, you know, she could have really, she, she seen blood, she smelt blood, but she didn't go for it. Round two, 147 mark. Christine Knuckles Stanley gets the win over Lionheart Burton. We'll get the official decision coming up. What's going on everybody? Daniel Sullivan here with My Diesel Physique, and I'm super excited to announce that we have a new program that's going to complement the My Diesel Physique Challenge, and it's all about building size and muscle. 
These methods are tried and true. I currently use these on my NFL football players, MLB baseball players, professional bodybuilders, and UFC fighters. These principles work for them. It's going to work for you. If you're an everyday gym goer and you're trying to build size, strength, and mass, and you're just not seeing the results that you want, I have put together a program that scientifically proves how to build that mass, size, and strength with the workouts, with the nutrition. Let me coach you to get you to that next level. Let's build some muscle. We used to travel and go places, not anymore. She's always complaining. Now he just watches TV. I want to go out. I just want a slightly bigger TV. She says it's too expensive. He acts like a know-it-all, but he doesn't even know how much we could be saving with Estrella Insurance and their little prices. Their prices are little, huh? Just like you? Nope, little like you. We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a great round of applause for both brawlers, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, your referee in charge, Bobby Wambacher, calls a halt to the bout at two minute, one minute, 47 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, Christine Nook. So Christine Stanley is a painter yeah. by trade. Was that uh, Rembrandt, a Picasso? <laughs> uh, what kind of work of art was that? It was she used tremendous the roller fight. to take care <laughs> of uh, Burton. You know, Burton, with only the three professional fights, not quite ready for Stanley. What we saw from Stanley was the fact that she has all that MMA experience, plus some bare-knuckle experience, and she is someone that's going to be hard to deal with in the Trigon. Vicious from defense to offense, as you pointed out correctly during that tremendous fight. Let's go to Dada now in the Trigon with the fighters. Christine Knuckle Stanley, awesome performance. You know, and I just want to say every bare knuckle stand up has been a finish thus far, and you guys kept that tradition alive. Listen, walk us through this because this was one hell of a fight. Um, they don't call me Knuckles for no reason. I got that before I even, Bare Knuckles was even here, so. Um, hey, listen, round of applause for Latoya, man. Chick's badass, okay? Anyone that can step in here is a fucking badass. Um, hey, we just came in, um, just do what I do every day in the gym, you know? Work, um, head, body, head, and that kind of stuff, movement. Try not to get um, put against the cage too much and wear the punches, and this shit ain't new, man. I've been doing four ounce fights forever, so it's no big deal. Listen, again, you guys fought just as hard as the guys on this card, and I would not be surprised if you guys get fight of the night. Lionheart! Lionheart, you came out here and you fought the best fight you can, right? If you had to change anything, what would it have been? Just relaxing and taking my time. Uh, I had a game plan, and uh, I already knew about her background and everything. And I just, I just, I didn't, I didn't do what I was supposed to, you know. But I, I would like a rematch, definitely. Um, I, I'm hurting right now, you know. And uh, I don't mean physically. I mean emotionally, uh, internally. It's. <sighs> I tell you guys what, right? Let's give both of these warriors a round of applause. <laughs> BYB Extreme, we make the weekends. An impressive win for Christine Stanley. More coming up from the Brawl for It All in Cheyenne, Wyoming, right after this. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. All right, Al, here we go. Welterweight time. Young Delanoit. Let's break it down. Tail of the tape. 
Yeah, methadone, uh, age 35, a veteran with those years comes experience. 41 MMA fights. We'll see if that experience helps him against the younger Jake Young. Can't wait to see this one unfold. Back to the Trigon of Bob Alexander. And now, ready to make his way to the Trigon from the blue corner, Matt MFD Delanois. Are you scared? We really can't repeat what MFD means, but just use your imagination <laughs> and you'll probably figure that one out. Matt is fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska. He says, look, I'm just a tough guy from Nebraska, originally from a small town in Iowa, Humboldt, Iowa. Where he said growing up, Al, we fought in the backyard all the time. He's a veteran. He's a rough and tumble guy, loves to fish. He's a project manager in uh, construction. And uh, he's a guy who has done a lot in mixed martial arts. I mentioned 41 fights, 27 and 14 is his record. And uh, he's trying to take that into the bare knuckles uh, arena. Dada, you know this guy well. He's as confident as they come, right? Definitely. And his fighting style is just like his vocabulary, uncensored. You know, he <laughs> says what he means, and he means what he says. And he uh, comes out time and time again, and he delivered. We're going to see if that holds true tonight. He said pre-fight he'll chase anyone down and knock them out. And he really likes the Trigon with a close quarters and a fight coming up. Let's meet his opponent. And now, making his way to the Trigon from the red corner, Jake the and event center in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Our next bout of the evening is brought to you by BYB Extreme Fighting Series and GetPureNatural.com. This is your co-main event of the evening, scheduled for five three-minute rounds of bare-knuckle brawling in the middleweight division. The three judges scoring at cage side, Janelle Mellish, Josh Johnson and Tom Milstead. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with red, white, and blue. He weighed in at 174.8 pounds. A veteran of 41 MMA bouts from Omaha, Nebraska. Here is Matt MFD. Delanoy! His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with black trim. He weighed in at 175 pounds. His professional record in kickboxing, 26 wins, 4 losses. From London, Ontario, Canada, here is Jake 
the Goon Young. Referee Bobby Womacker with the instructions. Matt, Jake. All right, gentlemen, this is the co-main event. We've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. Here we go. Delanoid says, I'm authentic. I go for what I want, and Dada 5000, usually what he wants is a knockout. Definitely. Says he feels right at home in close quarters, like the mighty Tricon. We're about to find out how, how comfortable he feels. Yeah, and Jake Young, I think, is hopeful to get off to kind of a good start in this match to kind of push him on his heels a little bit. We'll see if he can do that. If Matt, I had to judge the Jake, confidence level, I'm Let's gonna go. lean towards MFD. Wow. Oh. With some contact early. Good counter left hook there by uh, Young. Delanoid charging early as he unloads. Really lands two solid right hands, one of the body, one of the face. Of Jake the Goon Young. Wow, the action continues. Young scores. Both blasting away. Wow. No, 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 no knockdown. Cannot push the fighter down. In BYB Extreme. Back on their feet. Rolling again. Oh, wow. They're definitely getting straight to it. Whoa. Oh, wow. Right hand and good night for Jake the Goon Young. He is knocked out. This is over. What a punch from Matt Delanoy. That's a knockout. Lights out. Overhand right from Delanoy, and it, Young had been doing some good work up to that point, but then got nailed with that overhand right simply too much. Now, he was sleeping in the air, but uh, that push didn't do him no justice either. Only 49 seconds into the opening round. Back with the official decision. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, your referee in charge, Bobby Womacker, calls a halt to the bout at 49 seconds of the first round. Your winner by knockout, Matt MFD Delanoy. Al, this did not take long. You Plenty know, of action in that first round. It was a very competitive and interesting match until Delanoy found that straight right hand. And boy, when he landed it, the fight was over. And to that point, it had been competitive and interesting, but Matt found a way to, to end it. You know, I said an overhand right. I was really wrong. That's as straight a right hand as you can throw, and it was perfect, and it did in oh. Jake Young. Wow. Great look from above from our crew in Cheyenne. A connection, the right hand, Delanoy ends the night for Jake the Goon Young, who is sitting up and looking a little better. <laughs> yeah, luckily he recovered he took from that. that shot. Wow. What a right hand to Dada 5000. can say and I'm sure all the fans can say and those watching all around the world is wow I mean listen that was epic you know uh, you set him up perfectly and you took him out talk to me you know you're right and you're welcome that was awesome right that's that's what I trained to do man at the end of the day it's just a fight I like that this guy it's more fun it. with bare hands wow though, you know Happy to be here. Dada, you the man. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, and to everybody watching all around the world, at every bare knuckle fight we've had, never went to the judges, as we said. Make some noise for both of these warriors. All right, Matt, I'll say it. Thanks. <laughs> it was incredible to watch. 
What a powerful right hand to end the fight. Matt MFD Delanoy knocks out Jake the Goon Young here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. More coming up. That puts a wrap on some great fighting, Al. And let's look at that first fight with Lorenzo Hunt, the juggernaut, just a little too good, wasn't he? He really was. Uh, you know, he had a lot of bravado, but he backed it up. You know, he was very a terrific defensive fighter who made Brown miss a lot in the, their fight and ultimately had the power to put him away. It was a very impressive performance by him. I love his demeanor and how calculated and cool, well, really cold, right? Donna? He was going in for that victory. In the end, he was really impressive. Definitely, you know, and um, you guys being industry insiders, you could look at a, a fighter prior way in press conference like Mike Tyson said he pretty much determined this fight is already over before you even got us out the ring and both of those dudes they were on ice they was grilling each other you know and I think the presence was already set and it pretty much gave the juggernaut the edge and Matt Delano speaking of knockouts Al that was a tremendous right hand in that fight you know Jake Young was giving him all he could handle for the first part of that first round a straight right hand was just too much for Jake Young all right that wraps it up thanks for joining us for BYB Extreme